<laughs> but uh, yeah, I so it, it was super quick and he was a clown. So I, I have no idea if it can work or not. But I know that both you and Feast. Yes. yes. Like are never hardly ever in the same city. Like you guys are just like, you make time for each other, but you still are committed to your respective careers to do some amazing things that you guys are out there doing. But yep, yep. preach, doctor. How and we, we ended up engaged we, can, as well. Can we make this work? So, um, obviously, mm-hmm. they can be successful. I'm in one. Okay. Um, I mean, we're no longer long distance anymore. Nafis is officially in Atlanta. Yeah. Period. So that's exciting. Oh um, my, that's why you're becoming, you know what, <laughs> when did that happen? Because ever since, I just seen this new, like, your face looks so bright and oh. um, chipper. I don't that's know. I feel like I need to get a new to... skin routine, but that's the No, your skin looks great. And it's a, cr- so shout out to you, Feast. I, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. It's my show. Um, <laughs> she's so raunchy. Um, <laughs> I know. Yeah, so he's uh, officially here. Um, but yeah, we dated long distance in our relationship for many seasons of our life. We've been together six and a half years. Wow. First okay. year and a half, we were in the same city. Um, we were in two de- different apartments and then we moved together in that half year. Yeah. And then he ended up getting into grad school, moving to Columbia, Missouri. And he was there two years and then pandemic, we were together. And mm-hmm. then I, um, uh, yeah, pandemic, we were together. So that was two years, which is still crazy. Crazy. Um, so and it, and it went by like, yeah. Fast. And then um, we moved back to Philadelphia together after the pandemic. But that was only for a little bit, maybe a couple months, maybe like six months, eight months. I don't really remember. And then I moved to Atlanta first and then he followed after that. Okay. But I say all that to say, like, we're very committed to each other. So, like, I mean, when I say our our mileage is up, right, we're not spending money on like food and clothes. We're spending money on flights. I was going to say um, those frequent flyer mountains are like on yes. point. Yeah. Yes. So we we definitely are frequent flyers. Um, we are always at the same events, weddings, things like that. We do lots of that kind of stuff together. So those are kind of our like tentpole, you know, dates and, and moments and memories together. Sure. Um, we take a lot of family trips. Um, But I will say, I mean, I've done long distance my whole life, but I know for a fact that those were just jokes. Like those weren't real. Those were just like filling space, filling time, right? Those were just having fun. Those were not real. Right, exactly. Sure. So I would say the person has to be super serious about you, meaning like on the phone in the morning, texting you, calling you. Committed. Yes. Um, Checking in. How was your day going throughout the day? Um, and also at night, making sure you guys get that time in at night um, yeah. to talk and talk about your day and pour into each other. Mm-hmm. And so me and Nafis are so even though we're, we were long distance for a long time, sporadically in our relationship, it never felt like we fell off, like we didn't lose contact. Like we were we we're just very serious about each other. So that was the that was the only way I felt comfortable being with someone. Yeah. Is because he was so communicative. He was overly communicative. 